Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here. I've got a brand new unboxing for you. Well, I haven't really, but you know what I mean. Right, I've been trolling around the internet, around eBay, trying to find one of these. Competition Pro 5000 joystick. This is the one that I used to have. Not this exact one, because you know my history by now, that nothing I have had has been from a childhood, or either sold it or broke it, or probably broke it and because I sold it, and then, yeah, whatever. But to replace the joystick I used to have on my Spectrum when I used to have one when I was a kid, I think they used to place on the Atari 2600 as, as well, I think, but I'm not 100% certain. I'm sure it should be able to work on it. Competition Pro. I always used to think these were called the, the um, Kempston joysticks, but they're not the Competition Pro 5000. Arcade quality joystick, but they were distributed by Kempston. So I remember the, the, um, the interface that I would put on the back of the old Spectrum, the rubber key one I had as a kid. Yeah, these were a great little joystick and I it took a not well didn't take much to get into these but it was very good to use the old joysticks for the Atari 2600 with the stick and the one single button I went through quite a lot of them the quick shot joysticks went through quite a lot of those as well bought this on on eBay not much a little bit damaged but then again this is a what 30 year old joystick 35 year old joystick or am I getting really, really old? Oh God, yeah, I am. Right, so let's get inside and see if the, the cardboard's a little bit frail, shall we say, but all the innards all there. Well, I had to tape that up because that's fell off, but nothing else I could do with this. So inside, you have a dirty box. Mmm, yum. But this isn't for that, this is for the actual joystick. Now this is straight off of what I've bought on eBay. I mean, it looks like the cable is possibly the same as. Cable doesn't actually look too bad. It's quite shiny inside the socket there. So, um, hmm, this should work fine. Buttons seem fine. There's a little bit of a mark on there anyway. A bit of line. I'm not sure if that's down to it being stored or it being cut or something. But it's not on the other one as well. This has been here for quite a while now. Let's see if the joystick makes it actually makes any clicks. There aren't any clicking sounds on this. There are there is a new joystick out, which I have got, and I will be doing a review on that soon enough. But I want to put this one out first. But I'm gonna full tear down this. The problem with these is I'll have to show you. No fancy things. There's a tear down, but that's what I'm gonna do anyway. Arcade quality switches, which are on here, which don't really make a noise. Left or right handed just basically means they were both wired up exactly the same. So there's no like button one, button two. They are both button one. Five foot long cord, Woo. but there's a rubber return here to make it it's centered. I can feel there's, that's forward, that's right, that's left, that's down. Ergonomic handle, yes. I think I'm holding this like a quick, you know, like a quick shot for the button, and I shouldn't. Yeah, it feels a little bit loose, but I think somebody may have already been inside this. But I think this part here, or somewhere around here, because you see this, the clear versions of these, and all around this ring inside here, it's like powder. So something is corroding, something is wearing away. So hopefully that might not be too bad. It's quite rare, I've got all four of the rubber feet on the bottom of here. So let's get a screwdriver and get inside. Hopefully, should be quite good. For thick, very short, but quite thick wood screws in there. Can't get that one for some reason. I don't get that one either. Very odd. Strange bits. Now. There we go. So, four bits out. And the bottom should come off. 
Ooh, that's, that is relatively clean. I'm quite impressed with that. My problem is, oh, they, they, they're not exactly switches, they're just like little leaf parts. Piece of metal against, which is fine. They all look like they seem to be touching quite well. The left, the, the, the right one seems like you press over it, but the left, well, actually, when I'm pressing right, this one here, they seem quite close. You can always bend these out in the way to make it a little bit more difficult for them to touch. Well, that's fine. Let me get... <sighs> been quite a while since I've been inside one of these. I want this part off. I want the actual joystick part. I want to see about the rubber bit behind here, but I might not be able to get to it. So let's take the um, pin off there. Hopefully that comes down and out. So, like a lot of arcade sticks that they're doing now, they're, they are going exactly to this sort of, the arcade spec. We're having the ring, having the actual joystick part. That's actually not too bad. I'm, I'm worried more about what's inside there, the rubber part inside there. Now I can... Aha, there we go. The whole lot comes out. So that's, that's good. I did, did have to take that off there, but that will come out that way instead. So I just push it onto these four parts here. The rubber part is what I'm worried about is here. And that actually feels quite solid, quite spongy and quite good. I'm hoping it's just pushed into place, which it is. Look at that. Now I thought this had um, corroded, degraded and gone over the years, but that's quite still Got a lot of got a lot of life left to that. There's another inside part there, which is just a little bit extra flashing from when it was originally built. Everything looks really clean in here. It's just the external that's a tiny bit dirty. It could do a bit of isopropanol, a bit of washing up liquid. Nothing major with that. Button seam fine. Put the button. Seems fine. Yeah. So what I was expecting is this to be completely corroded, dissolved and whatever, and have to find a, another piece of rubber. That's actually perfectly well. Ah. That looks like a moulded piece. I, I'm probably guessing, but that might be the plastic part that might corrode a little bit under action, but if not, so I said, it's parts on here, when it's clear, you can see a lot of powder inside here. So it's either that or that that's gone. These are absolutely spot on. It's fresh almost as the day it was built. Now this is quite impressive for me because so far I haven't broke a wire. So it's either the build quality or it's just pure darn luck for me. There's no microprocessor inside, there's no telling it what's where and how. These two buttons go exactly the same place. Come back here. For both, the blacks all go to the earth anyway, but you've got the orange leading to the orange there, and the orange going out towards the wire for the fire button, which is one of these pins anyway. They're not using all the pins. There's still pin one, pin six and eight that aren't used. So it's kind of, you could do more, but as not knowing the full layout of a, a nine pin socket of what all the wires do. Yeah, that's um, not bad at all. Now, the only thing that worries me a little bit is that wire, there we go, because it, it might have been nipped, the orange wire underneath there just then, if I didn't put it back together right. So, actually not bad. I'm, I'm, I'm so impressed that that rubber is In one piece. Force that back in. Just push it in place. I need that into there, that into there. You know what? I've just forgotten exactly which way that goes. <laughs> just there. Right, so underneath the cables, that, that might be a slight problem. 
hold on to that. Hmm. There we go. Trust it back through, through the rubber. That's where I can feel the resistance from. Hold the plastic to thread through that. Out the other side. Hmm. Cool. Just put that a little bit further down. The pin can go in. Or the clip can go in, should I say, not the pin. And there you go. Not fully held in place, but once the back, which I'm still impressed is quite clean, goes in, got the four screws put back in, and then when we're done. Quite an easy tear down, seeing as there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, I like, I like a tear down when things work. When it doesn't, then it means there's a full series of videos need doing. Make things back to as this should be. And whether this is already back to as it should be. I don't want to screw too much onto these. It's already better with just taking the piece and put it back together again. One thing we're missing is the tiny bit of rubber that seems to have fell out. But I'll handle that. That's fine, that's not a problem. Yeah. An absolute winner. I think I only paid about, I think it was 10, maybe 15 pounds for this on eBay. So it's absolute, just, just, it, it's kind of a, a lucky, lucky guess when you get onto eBay anyway. We all know that. People put, put stuff on there and it's kind of un, untested. I found it in the loft. It's been in the cupboard for years and yeah, I've not got a, I've not got a power supply to try, try anything with. So we understand these sort of things. It's, it's fine. But, um, Absolutely spot on. Winner, winner, chicken. Well, chicken was, was for dinner last night, but yes. So anything, anyways, thanks for watching. That's how you strip down a Competition Pro 5000 joystick. I mean, they were for most systems, the Spectrums, the Commodores, the Ataris. So yeah, eight way arcade quality switches apparently. But yeah, easy peasy done. And this will go pride of place. It will be part of another video I'll be doing pretty soon with another joystick but that's to come thanks for watching please like subscribe follow me on social media help out if you want to all the links are down below and i'll see you in another video bye for now button seem fine Excuse me, cut that. <clears throat> yes.